welcome back. This is the third in a series of videos talking you through the steps of creating a scrapbook page using PaintShop Pro. I'm Anita Bean with BeanDesigns.com. In the previous two videos, we have created our image, we've done our background papers with a curved ribbon, a waved ribbon, and we've brought in our pictures and put on prongs. Let's open our saved image, recent files, PSP video. While I was gone, I went ahead and put my shadows on my prongs. So we've got our background papers, we have our prongs, our pictures. We're ready for our stickers. So let's pull in our stickers. We want some flip-flops, a sand pail, and an umbrella. So let's pull those onto the page. You'll notice that these are very large. So we're going to need to resize them. So we've got the deform tool already. Your deform tool isn't active. You push the D for deform. If you grab the corner when you're using the deform tool, grab the corner, it maintains the relationship between height and width. If you only grab the side, it will not maintain the relationship. And you want things to stay the same. Okay. Let's highlight my umbrella layer. And let's pull it over into our location. Good. Push the M for the Move tool. And I want to deform tool, kind of deform that, give it a little bit of an angle. Move tool. Let's move that all over just a bit. Alright, we want to put a shadow on those elements, so let's do that, make them three-dimensional. Simply highlight the layer that the sticker is on, click on the Drop Shadow tool, and choose your settings. Okay, I'm having a hard time locating my other. If you don't know, don't know where your what layer it is. You can use your move tool when you grab hold of the item. It's highlighted over. That chooses that layer. And I'll push OK. So we're missing a title um, on our page. Let's just click over to our sample. I'm going to put a title and some journaling. That's what we're missing. A day at the Brazos River. So let's go to our layer palette and choose the top layer. We're going to push the T for the text tool. And text tool highlights. We're going to want our top, our first letter to be the red color. So let's <clears throat> choose the red color. So over on your color palette, brings up the tool. Choose our color. Now let's click on our paper. We're going to 
type A. That's not the font I want. So we get to chop on the top left. We choose our font. And our size. Type in a 100. I think that's what we want. Let's push OK. And we can drag that onto our page. Okay, we're going to do another word in a different color. So we don't want to keep the, this layer highlighted. Let's go down to the second layer, the raster layer. Highlight that layer. We want to change the color to a darker blue. So I'll click on the blue and then here on we're going to change the color just a bit. Make it darker. Push OK. Click on our <clears throat> We've got our second word. Highlight the raster layer and choose our green color. Make it a tad bit darker. River, Brazos River. Push OK. And that is a very large title. So we've got a day, Brazos River. Once again, highlight the raster layer and choose yellow. Click on our, our scrapbook page. We're going to change. Um, we're going to change our font. We're going to make it italicized, and we're going to make it 72 size. And we're going to type in at the and we're going to push apply. The reason I did that last was because I wanted to change the font a bit and um, so it saved me changing it back again. So we can, now that each of the words are on their own layer, we can move them around however we, however we want them to look, you know, how do we want how do we want them to play together? Um, you can do them. If you didn't want your title to be this large, you can make your sizes different. So I kind of like the way that looks right there. Our next step would be to once again highlight the raster layer. And we could push our T for text tool and put our journaling right in here. We want our journaling to be closer to a smaller size as if we were writing it. And um, I would simply type in um, um, it was a hot day in, in September and I would just put in my um, journaling concerning the day and I would push apply. So here you have, we brought in our stickers. We put our title on, and we put in our journaling. Very important parts of keeping our memories would be to, to, to write down the things that you remember. Save those memories for, for the generations to come. So today's tutorial, we did our stickers and our letters, our text, so this is the end of our third video. Our next video, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks to, to even make your page kind of pop off the page. And this was Anita Bean, beandesigns.com.